It's time for Riveting Radio Real Estate, and I have on the air with me Don Pinnell. Good morning, Don. Good morning, Jeff. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. We have uh, some graphics uh, moving on here. If you're watching, uh, we'll post this uh, video, obviously, on our uh, Facebook page and on the Daybreak page at i501newsradio.com. You sent me a listing to a place on Northcliff? Yes, it's a brand new listing, uh, about a week old. Okay. And anybody who's lived in this area for any length of time probably saw this house being built. If you traveled up and down Northcliff, it's right on the right on the road. Uh-huh. You can see it. And I know I we live up there, and and every time we went by, we were wondering what what this person was building, and because uh, it it was pretty interesting. It's a custom design, and. Yeah, so the address is 1300 Northcliff, so it's um, right across the street from uh, 8th, where 8th goes across, okay. So, yeah, but it's right on the road, you can't miss it. Yeah. And uh, it's a big house, uh, almost 4,000 square feet by the time you add in uh, the basement. The basement right now is sort of unfinished, although it's got all of the studs and all of the electrical and all of the plumbing all there, so it would be, and the, and the bathroom is all in, so there's... Uh, Two bedrooms and a bathroom, full bathroom down there, uh, has a separate entrance. You could put in a kitchen. It's got it's plum for washer dryer, so you could definitely do another separate apartment under there. Well, it's it's got a, it's got a, and and home inspectors will love this. It's got a door into the crawl space. Oh, an actual door. <laughs> going I into bet the that is exactly what they look. <laughs> yeah, like. yeah. So lots of storage back there, and then upstairs is just finished beautifully that kitchen uh, island is oh something. it's huge it's huge i think you probably fit 10 10 people I around that so. thing yeah yeah and the, uh, all soft closed drawers custom cabinets um the floors are gorgeous it's got big windows and the neat thing is the guy that built it put in extra soundproofing and uh extra um stuff triple pane triple pane windows so you know you're right on the road basically but you can't hear a can't thing hear anything. you can't hear a thing inside the house and it's really well designed for it's got really wide hallways really wide doors um it's got a ramp up to the front door so for accessibility things it's it's really well designed and upstairs has um a gorgeous big master bedroom with a two room-sized walk-in closets mm-hmm. and the master bathroom has a the a shower you'll see a picture of that on there it's it's phenomenal it's it's probably the prettiest shower i've ever seen really big and and the nice nice uh, finishes on it and then a big soaker tub with windows you know to look out onto the view it it's gorgeous it it really is and um i'm having an open house there tomorrow oh fun so if anybody wants to stop by and take a look at it i'd love to show it to you uh from 10 to 10 to 1 tomorrow saturday on the 23rd and or yeah 22nd or 23rd whatever day that is (laughs) yeah so uh anyway it's a a gorgeous house uh we've got it listed at 425 okay um so uh love to love to have somebody come see it and also the there is a lot next door that's uh about an acre that's also got uh this house has a four bedroom septic on it and the lot next door also has a four bedroom septic so that is also available uh, as a separate purchase so you could end up with a total of almost two acres uh up there I might as well get them both I might as well get them both yeah two for the well not two for the price of one but <laughs> two, two, two the, the, the second one the second one could be added and there's a, a shared well agreement in place uh oh. for that so that this this house has the the well house right on it so, so this is a custom custom built house what does that mean does that mean it, the the whole like design plans and everything were thought up by the person who built it or? yeah yeah it's not a it's not a stock design it's it's he, he designed it himself is that normal that you would custom build a home just to sell well he built it they were they were planning to live there oh, okay. and then situations changed and they got transferred and so he tried to sell it um several it was built in 2012 so fairly new uh they moved and didn't weren't able to sell it oh, themselves okay. so they rented it for a while and then the renters just moved out and they decided to to uh, put it on the market Man, so it's sharp yeah, looking it is a sharp looking house and uh, it's got cedar siding um you know all kinds of huh. all kinds and it's got more high-tech cabling in it than i've ever seen before <laughs> God, you could you could hook up all kinds of things in nice, there it's nice. got it's even got a, a whole house audio really system yeah oh yeah there's an indoor in speaker there yeah and the garage looks like you could eat off the floor in it the really garage it's, nice. and, with, and it's got this really fancy heating thing it's got uh, a heat pump it's wired for generator um 
the guy even put his air compressor out in the pump house so he didn't have to listen to the noise, and then he ran a, a pipe underneath the ground into the garage. So you run your compressor out, wow. and, and then you've got access to it in the garage where you can't hear anything. It's a nice place. It, it is phenomenal. Yeah, it, it really is. It's one of the one of the prettiest houses I think I've seen in a long time. So if you're looking at this home or any home, one of the things you got to get is a loan. Exactly. And we've been talking about these VA loans today. Right? VA loans today. Right. Yes. What is yes. the deal with the VA loan? Well, the VA is a guaranteed home loan program that was established to help veterans uh, finance the purchase of their homes. With affordable loans and it's administrated by the u.s department of veterans affairs hence the va mm -hmm. loan so eligibility for a va loan is based on the length of continuous active duty in the u.s armed forces and the longer time longer times are required for peacetime service so uh you get more oh. points if you're if yeah. you're in during combat uh and you need more points if you're during peacetime. And it may also be based on service in the National Guard or the Reserves. And a surviving spouse may also be available. So okay. those are all questions to talk to your lender about because there are specific rules about uh, who qualifies and who doesn't. So, um, And you have to have a certificate of eligibility issued by the VA. So it's an actual piece of paper. And the property must be appraised in accordance with VA guidelines. So a lot of times those are pretty stringent. So again, and check with your lender about what those requirements are. Um, for example, they don't, uh, they like there to be carpeting on the floor. They like, uh, you know, they, they're wow. concerned about paint. Uh, if they're paint chips or anything like that, VA loans typically will call those out to be fixed. Wow. So, yeah, they're, uh, and, and the, the reason for that is that when a lender approves a VA loan, the loan is guaranteed by the federal government, and if the borrower defaults, the VA will reimburse the lender for any loss. So they want to have something that, that has some value mm -hmm. for, for resale just in case they mm -hmm. have to hit, end it with it back. So the characteristics uh, for that kind of loan are that, number one, that the veteran must occupy the house. It can't be used for an investment purposes. If they, buy, they you can buy a a, four, a twoplex or a fourplex or something like that, but the veteran has to actually live in one of the units. So uh, it usually doesn't require a down payment, although uh, they will take a down payment and then and then adjust accordingly. There's no maximum loan amount. Um, remember we talked last time about the FHA loans. There was a maximum value that they would loan for. Mm -hmm. VA there is no maximum, so you a VA loan can be for any amount. You could use it for the 425000 for the North Cliff Road, for example, <laughs> whereas you probably couldn't do that for an FHA huh, loan. Okay. So uh, they have less stringent underwriting standards for qualifying the, the borrower, but sometimes more stringent as far as property condition. So just check in on that. And they do not require mortgage insurance usually. So that's that's something that's a little bit different. Even though there's sometimes zero down payment, you're still not required to get mortgage insurance. Those are just some of the, uh, I mean, I don't want to say perks for being a veteran, but kind of the perks for right. being a veteran. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and, some of the, and one of the big ones, uh, and we'll talk about it in a minute, but I wanted to mention too that a VA borrower is required to pay a funding fee, which is usually 2.15 at this point, uh, percent of the loan amount. So that fee is reduced if, if the borrower makes the down payment of 5% or more. Okay. So they're not required to make a down payment, but they can certainly. And then they reduce the, the loan fee for that if you do that. Sure. So uh, if the veteran sells the property that was financed by a VA loan and repays the loan in full from the proceeds of the sale, then they're entitled to full restoration of their certificate of eligibility so they can use it to buy another property. So you have to live there. You, so yeah, you only get right. one eligible. You only letter. get one certificate of eligibility, but you can transfer it once you pay off. You know, like if you if you have a starter home, for example, and you want to move up to a bigger home, you can sell that first home, pay off from the proceeds, and then use your certificate to, hmm. to uh, buy another place. So uh, the big thing for the seller, uh, you know, we know that there are there are advantages for the buyer to use their VA benefits, and and they should if they have those. Yeah. I mean, that's that's one of the one of the things it. for yeah they've earned that from for their active service. But one of the things that sellers a lot of times are um, hesitant about. Uh, is this deal where uh, regulations re prevent the buyer from paying certain, if the buyer if, who is a veteran, from paying certain loan and closing costs. So the seller 
is asked to pick up those costs. So for example, um, I didn't mention this when we talked about FHA loans, but on FHA loans, the seller, th there's the same type of thing that sort of applies. The seller in that case is asked to pay a $300 um, FHA cost, mm -hmm. uh, which typically would be paid by the buyer. The VA loan, on the other hand, can be as much as uh, $1,000 on a $200,000 sale. So uh, they're asked to pay that $300 um, closing cost, but also the veteran is not required to pay uh, the escrow fee. So typically, we talked about the buyer and the seller splitting the, the yeah. escrow fee. Yeah. On a VA loan, the seller pays the whole escrow fee. So again, on a $200,000 sale, that amounts to about $700 that typically the buyer would pay and then the seller would pay matching. But in a, on a VA loan, the seller pays the total. Wow. So there was an, just an article in the paper not too long ago that um, sellers were not choosing VA loans. Yeah. And so veterans were having problems you know, finding places that, that they could that they could buy because they were getting beat out by people who were getting conventional loans because they were they were with the seller wasn't asked to pay yeah, these stuff. extra costs. So uh, there are ways to kind of work with that. You can sometimes raise the offer price to to cover those extra costs uh, and then finance those. So again, good things to talk to your lender about just to be aware that if you are planning to use a VA loan, just be aware that those things are out there and that if if you if you're in a competitive market you might have to do some some extra things to to uh, compensate for those and regardless of the loan you should go to a lender first and get your pre-approved letter and all that stuff started. absolutely absolutely and especially with a VA or an FHA because there are different different products and things that they can use that and and sometimes I've seen where where a a person qualifies for a VA loan, but it's not necessarily the best option for them to use. So again, a lender can talk you through all of those possibilities. But for sure, if you do have veterans benefits, tell your lender that because okay. that might be the best way for you to go, even with some of the, the difficulties that you might run into. So people so. can stop by see you this weekend up at Northcliff. They can indeed. Otherwise, how do they get in touch with you? They can call me at 360-490-4493, or they can stop by on the corner of 3rd and Railroad at the John L. Scott office. And if I'm not there, the folks in the office will know where I am, and they can get in touch with me that way. Market's still hot, hot, hot? It's, it's yes, it's still moving quickly, and um, yeah. A lot more things coming on the market, which is nice. Uh -huh. We were we were ha having short uh, or low inventories there for a while, but that's that's improving. I just was, looked on my computer this morning, and there were 18 new listings in the last 24 hours. Wow. So that was pretty encouraging in wow. in Mason County. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Good. that was that was pretty encouraging. Well, stop by uh, Don's John L. Scott uh, website. We'll put the links to it there as we post the interviews. You have a good weekend. I will. You too, Jeff. Good.